What's up, Philly? Now <laughs> out to center and it's turning into a two on one unless the Flyers hustle. They do get back to make it a two on two, but here's a shot. And he scores. Power play over. Delorey is out of the box. He's on the rush here. O'Reilly with the puck to him and Freddie scores. Three nothing Buffalo. Humberger the move around behind. Centers it in front. They score. Nice play there. The payoff. Mark Streit up on the rush. Cleared by Gergensen, and that'll do it. Buffalo Sabres take two from the Flyers this week. Now, Andy Robb, Ken Prell, the Philly Hockey Guys. I feel guys. so sad and I can't handle it because <laughs> the Flyers are playing like shit. Oh. Uh. Well, that was pretty good. You like that? That was excellent. I was practicing that for the last four days. <laughs> Since we haven't done a show in a while. Uh, it's just, been too depressing to do a show. <laughs> that's kind of true. Um, so we're back. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Philly Hockey Guys podcast. I'm Andy Robb. I'm Ken Perel. Did you have a good uh, Halloween? Had a great Halloween. It was very good. Very fun. Awesome. How about you? I kind of did, but I also didn't because, I mean, those Flyers games were so bad. I I really wanted to get a razor blade or a needle <laughs> and candy, and I didn't get any of it. And I, I was... I'm still alive today, so uh, it was okay, I guess. It's still early on. No reason to uh, get crazy now, You know right what away. pisses me off, though? I will tell you about my Halloween. I got myself some candy. I got it in a nice little bucket for the kids. Not a single one came and rang my doorbell. No one? Not a single one. Well, Not a do, single family. You do look kind of shady, so I'd stay away from your house, too. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you make a good point. <laughs> what was your costume this year? What was my costume this year? Yeah. <laughs> I went as Andy Robb from the Philly Hockey Guys podcast. That's a pretty good costume. I went fun. as a, I went as a, as a as a as a crystal meth cook from Breaking Bad. <laughs> and you wonder why no one uh, rang your doorbell? No, but I wasn't dressed in that. I bought oh. that for something else. I wasn't. Oh, even, okay. I wasn't even wearing a costume. Oh. that night on Thursday, no kids came. Again, I can't blame them. Oh well, more candy for me in the end. I was trying to push myself. I was trying to push my risk from type two diabetes to type three, <laughs> and I think I'm almost there. So Woo-hoo! that's that's something to be proud of. There you go. This show brought to you by Joe's Insulin <laughs> for whenever you got to stick yourself in the gut for eating too much sugar. All right, you want to get to some hockey? Not really. I know. Uh... <laughs> this these last few games can be summed up in two words. I'm real disappointed. Yes. <laughs> Well, that does it for this show. All right. Well, thanks a lot for listening. Follow us on Twitter <laughs> at Philly. You know what the worst part is? We could actually just end the show right now because everyone knows what happened. Flyers have looked horrendous over the last few games. And the, some of the problems are, like, has this team completely forgotten how to make a pass at all in any way, shape, or form? Especially on the power play. The power play has looked dreadful. That just dropped off the face of the earth over the last few games. They are 4 for 32 on the season. That's horrendous. They're bad in all three zones. I mean, there's no way around it. There is no way around it. You can't you can't get into the slot. You nope. can't make any plays coming out of the zone. Neutral zone, you, everyone just poke checks away, just takes the puck from you. I, I am... I'm baffled by well, this. Well, they're, they're, we're 10 games into the season now. They have just scored 20 goals. That's it. Only 20 goals. Uh, only Anaheim has scored less. Must be something with that orange. It's got to be. <laughs> That's the only explanation. We I don't even of. need to do rage-inducing Facebook comments for this for this episode. No, the team is rage-inducing enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every phase of the game is just not working for the Flyers right now. Like I said, the power play has been awful. The penalty kill, they've given up uh, 10 goals on 42 kills this season. I was just about to say, that has not been as sterling as it has been over the last few games, namely because all they do is take penalties. I mean, take that uh, that one Buffalo, I think maybe it was the Buffalo or New Jersey game. Uh, they By the end of like maybe the second, they already took like five penalties. And two of those penalties, I know what game you're talking about, it was the, it was the Buffalo game, the first Buffalo game. They had too many men on the ice, twice. Yeah, who gets called for that twice? That's unacceptable. How? How does that happen? Yeah. Where is the communication where something like that happens? I don't understand. And when you have uh, a guy like Couturier out of the lineup, you can't be taking penalties. That's one of the main reasons why the penalty kill has looked awful so far, especially these last three games. Yeah. I mean, definitely attributed to, to him. His skill set is certainly missed uh, during that. But, wow, dude, just I, I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, 
It's early in the season, yes. You know, you try to stay positive. Yeah, but, especially but, on this show, right? Yeah, yeah. But the <laughs> but the I mean, the games they're losing the games, and also these games are terribly boring. Yeah, that's another thing. It. it I mean, against I the Devils, it, yeah. I always expect that. But even the Buffalo games weren't even that. I hate that to say exciting. it, but I I kind of agree with you. But you know what? There is a silver lining that that's not about us. What's that? It only took Dan Bilesmo leaving Pittsburgh to be able to finally beat us. <laughs> so there's that. Congratulations to Bilesma. Classy move on him uh, hooking that kid up with that puck, though. From the other game, oh, my God, Pittsburgh fans are the worst. They are. I mean, that old guy. I mean, once you realize, all right, I can, I can understand, you know, intercepting the puck. But when you see it was being thrown to a kid. Yeah, blatantly thrown yeah. to the kid. You don't laugh in the kid's face. I kind of laughed at his misfortune. <laughs> that kid got hooked up, though. Yeah. He got jerseys. Now he, got he a couple yeah. bucks. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So. Now remember, guys, that's that's the key. If you ever want something out of life, I bet you that probably was even fake. I bet you it was the kid's uncle or something. They're like, Uncle Jeff, go down there. <laughs> no. No, shut up. Seriously. They're like, snag this for me, and we're going to we're gonna take the Penguins for everything they're worth and get free jerseys and pucks. And it worked. Join us for our new podcast, Conspiracy Theories, with Andy Robb. I mean, can you, I mean, Dan Bilesmith threw out two pucks, too, is the number of people that were a part of this fiasco. Uncle Jeff, I'm on to Uncle Jeff, scummy Uncle Pittsburgh Yinzer Jeff being like, hey, I'll grab that puck for you down there, and <laughs> then you're going to get a free jersey. And that kid, he's not blameless on this either. My Pittsburgh, my Pittsburgher impression, they talk like everybody on Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> I think it's fake. Fake, 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 fake. That guy, I guarantee they went out to Eaton Park and ate disgusting food together after that game. They're like, good job, Uncle Jeff. We really fooled those suckers. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I I don't believe it. I think it was all just a marketing stunt. All right, back to hockey. All yep. right, so the Flyers are now four four and two on the season. Ugh. Um, Ugh. terrible. Of course, uh, all the beat writers are asking: Is it time to panic? I thought Wayne Simmons had probably the best response. Simmons says this. He says, uh, "We know we're a better team than we've shown so far. We've got seventy two games left. I wouldn't say there's any cause for panic at this moment." We've just got to keep going out there and working our butts off. The harder we work, the smarter we work, the more things will come together. End quote from Wayne Simmons. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, it's typical player coach speak. Yeah. Um, you yeah know, what I, else is he going to say? You know what? We're 10 games in. This uh, We're awful. We're tanking watching, the rest of the way. You know, stop. Yep. Just don't even bother watching. We're going to try to win less games than the Sixers. I mean, that's not going to. I mean, yeah, this that's, is what he has to say. That's physically impossible. <laughs> Nobody can lose more games than the Sixers. Yeah. I. I just don't know how you fix this team right now. I mean, Hextall, his hands are tied. They, they, they can't even bring up people from the Phantoms right now. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, because they only have, like, 700000 in cap space. Yeah, they're kind of in a pinch right now. Yeah. Um, the big guys just have to step up. I mean. Uh, yeah, that's that's really the key right there. I don't know who Voracek pissed off, but, I mean, it just seems like there's a, a brick wall in front of every every shot he takes. Yeah, and there are some where, like, you know, it's he had great opportunity, but just nothing can get through. No, it's, he's, he's it's had, frustrating. He's had 44 shots on goal this season, 20 in the last four games, and, and nothing to show for it. But eventually, you know, those are going to go in the net. You have to think. Oh, no, I do. I, I'm still, you know, I, I'm not hitting the panic button. I mean, there's there's no need to hit the panic button. I mean, they're right. You know, 72 games left, yes, but at the same time, for being 10 games in, we still kind of expect a little bit more effort out of this. But you can give them benefit of the doubt for other factors with the new system, new coach. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the problem I have with the way this season has started. Um, you go out, you beat Chicago. Yep. You beat the Rangers. In a shootout. A team that has just owned you the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, so you you start getting positive and you start thinking, all right, maybe this is a playoff team. Right. And then comes the Buffalo Sabres and the New Jersey Devils, teams that you should beat. Absolutely. Or, or at least show a better effort and not get smoked in all those games. And nothing happens. No. They looked awful in all three uh, of those games. And, and there, I, I have no words for it. And, and I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not pushing the panic button though. I I'll say that much. 
Um, so we can move on and we can talk about. Um, so how do you feel about what's coming up uh, from the Flyers now? What? Ken? What are you doing? I'm having some Halloween candy. Well, I was asking you a question around how you feel about what's going on. Sorry. Meet the Milky Way. What do you like on one of those commercials? No regrets. What kind of slogan <laughs> is that? And how is it acceptable for somebody that's working in the tattoo shop and she's just like, sorry, I was eating a Milky Way. And the guy's like, no, oh, that's fine. You hear that, guy? She was just eating a Milky Way. It's okay. It's so- all right. Sorry. I think the Flyers are all eating Milky Ways, actually. That would make some sense. That would explain everything. That might. Are, are, are you done eating your snack on the air? That was damn good. It's a pretty good Milky Way. Yeah, fun size. This segment of the Philly Hockey Guys podcast brought to you by Milky Way. Milky Way, it's all right to slack off and be socially inept as long as you're eating a candy bar. Let's go, Flyers. I'm telling you, they're handing them out at Comcast. <laughs> I think a lot of people that that work for Comcast also eat Milky Ways. This is another conspiracy. (laughs) All the lazy people in the world, the Philadelphia Flyers organization, all of them, they're all eating Milky Ways. (laughs) Milky Way and Comcast are in bed together. Jet fuel does not melt steel beams. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Sorry, I was eating a Milky Way. (laughs) What was your question from before? I don't even remember anymore. (laughs) Just the sound of you chewing at a candy bar. Just, wow, that is. How would you like it if I just, you know, started drinking right here? (laughs) (laughs) This show has gone off the rails. And now my impression of the Philadelphia Flyers. (laughs) I think they drowned. Drowned boldly. (laughs) All right. All right. Done, Done with the. We're done with the yuck yucks here. I'm disgusted. I mean, really, there's the, what else is there to talk about? I mean, really, <laughs> I mean, the writing's on the wall. I mean, everybody is aware of the of the problems that the Philadelphia Flyers are plagued with right now. And yes, I, it's not going to be permanent. I do not see this team within the next ten games. Maybe by maybe by Christmas break, I don't see them playing this poorly. No, this is a team that's going to take uh, it's going to take a lot of patience on the fans' part. Again, I said it way back when that I thought they were a bubble team at best. Yeah, and and that's and what they're really showing. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they're a five hundred team, and that's what they are right now. Now, of course, tonight they're back at it. The puck drops at ten p.m. against uh, Vancouver. Oh boy, there you go. The battle of who's more boring. <laughs> Vancouver off to a pretty good start though this season. Yeah, they're still the Canucks. Though. Yeah, the Canucks five two and four to start the season. Got we'll Ryan Miller in that. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. It's been pretty solid so far. I'm a little scared because uh, I don't think the Flyers' power play is going to get healthy tonight against these guys. There is some uh, news that came out of the Phantoms. We talked about, you know, how there may not be enough people to bring up. We did actually call somebody up. The Flyers have recalled forward Chris Connor uh, from the Phantoms uh, because they are going to be a person down, and uh, kind of raises the question: Will the Cavalier play? Again tonight. I don't see what you get from putting him out there for what? You know, I got to say, it's five, it's, six minutes. It's of, unfortunate. Of it's sad. You don't see a whole lot out of him as of right now. I know he took a stupid penalty the other night. Yeah. I mean, what, I mean, what faith do you have in him? And I know everybody's kind of like, oh, bring up Chris Connor. What, what good is that going to do? There's really nothing Hextall can do right now. The only reason Connor got brought up is because his salary is uh, just over 500000 That's all Hextall. He's the only one Hextall could bring up. God, that's sad. Yeah, I mean, that's just. But it's, I mean, it's not permanent, just like we said about everything else that's going on. Follow us on Twitter at Philly Hockey Guy. Also subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, and uh, we're all over the place. If you missed any of our episodes, they are all archived digitally online. (laughs) Also, once again, uh, congratulations goes out to Reddit user Practically a Chemist for winning our first official Philly Hockey Guys podcast prize pack. Your prize pack is going to be shipped out this week. Maybe we'll include some Milky Ways. We should. Give them some Milky Ways. I don't know if I'm ready to give them up. It's bad enough you already gave away the the uh, Lindros figurine. Maybe we have another Lindros figurine to give yeah, away. Yeah. Another Lindros figurine that you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not right. Yeah, if you don't like it, 
Get off the show. It's I'm out of here. Email me. Get out of my way. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So we'll get to predictions and all that stuff. Uh, when? Right now? Before we get to uh, predictions for tonight's game, there are, there is some good news happening with the Philadelphia Flyers. There's some light at the end of the tunnel, you mean? Yes. If you go down to the minor leagues, uh, we'll start in Lehigh. Ghost recorded his first goal as a professional. Fantastic. Good for him. I saw that, actually. Uh, so, yeah, he helped, yeah. and he had an assist in that game. He led Lehigh to a 5-1 victory over uh, St. John's on Wednesday. Fantastic. So that's good right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sam Morin, uh, he earned his first point as a pro against Hershey. Very nice. So they're starting to get, get things going. Yeah. Even uh, Stolarz in net. Oh, yeah? What do you do? looked pretty good. Um, he got uh, back-to-back games against St. John's last week, made 17 saves in uh, Wednesday's 5-1 win. But in uh, five starts this season, he's 3-2. and two. He's got a 920 uh, save percentage, uh, 1.82 uh, goals against average. So he's been solid so far. So that's that's all good news right there at the Phantoms. Things looking pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna give credit where it's due to. My name is Gordon for turning that team around. Right, Gordon. He's got it under control. Gordon knows what's up, man. They call him Flash. He's always on the dash. <laughs> Oh, my name is Gordon. So that's good. I'm yep. glad that I'm I'm really listen, can I just say right now that I feel so refreshed knowing that the most exciting news about the Flyers comes from our minor league teams. Well, it gets even better. Oh God. Uh, here we I, go. Uh, tweeted out yesterday. Oh, and, about uh, Konechny? Yes. Hey, you better believe it. You boldly tweeted that, yes, my friend. That behind the back pass, setting up a goal. Oh, Thing of beauty. Absolutely. And also looking good for uh, Sandheim and Provorov. Uh, Sandheim currently leads the uh, Hitmen in scoring uh, 20 points in 16 games. Mm. And uh, Provorov, he's appeared in all 16 of the uh, Wheat Kings games uh, this season, re- registering uh, 15 points, two goals, and a team best uh, plus 18 rating. That is great to hear. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't so, have any yes. other comments on it. It's amazing to hear. I yeah. love it. So, we're, uh, yes, we're suffering here in the present. But over the next couple of years, the future is going to look very, very, very bright for the Philadelphia Flyers. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Dynasty. Stop saying the word. <laughs> I told you already. You don't do it. When it's happening, you'll be like, you were right. That has to start happening first. <laughs> I have faith. So do I. But I'm not saying the word. Dynasty. Come on, say it with me. No. It's on the way. No. <laughs> Oh, leave me a Milky Way. <laughs> you had more Milky Ways over there? Oh, I got a whole bunch of them. You want another one? Yes. Not too bad. <laughs> All right, let's get the predictions for tonight. Oh, you want? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was eating a Milky Way. All right, I'll go. Uh, I don't see the Flyers breaking this losing streak tonight. Um, I think it continues. Uh, I look for Vancouver to win this one. 3-1? I don't know. Yeah. I'm hoping for different, but... Okay, so you're saying 3-1, Vancouver with the win. Who scores the one goal for the Flyers tonight, then? I'm just going to keep picking him until he eventually scores Voracek. It's got to happen soon. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers, for me, win 0-0 tonight. <laughs> because the entire Vancouver Canucks organization gets stricken, gets stricken with the Ebola virus, and none of them can show up, so the Flyers wind up winning uh, by default. From a tainted Milky Way. Yeah. Uh, But in seriousness, though, I, you know, I hate to go on that side of the fence. I hate to be that pessimist. I got to go. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I picking the Flyers not to win tonight either. Wow. First time in show history, you have not picked the Flyers to win. If you can see the look on my face, I (laughs) I don't feel good about it. It's taken 10 games, but it's finally happened. I don't feel good about it. I'm going to say uh, Vancouver comes away. It's going to be a closer game. I'm going to say Vancouver uh, wins it 2-1 tonight. And the only Flyers goal will be scored by Chris Connor. Who gives a shit? <laughs> he may not even dress, but he's going to score that goal He'll for throw you. it from the press box, and it'll get into the goal. All right. All right, fine. For a goal tonight... I'm just going to go with something ludicrous. I thought that's where you went. Michael Delzato. He's due. Is going to score a goal tonight. There you go. Okay. All right. I can see that. 
right. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully we're both wrong and the uh, Flyers, uh, you know, start a winning streak. Sometimes maybe that's what you need. You need to get away. And, of course, if uh, you want to find even more depressing Flyers news, uh, check out <laughs> FlyersBuzz.com, also FlyersNerd.com. Uh, some great but also somewhat depressing statistics on there. Both the plugs they were hoping for in this show. Yeah. <laughs> They know we're goofsters. Yeah, we're fa- we're fans of those sites. Yeah, but, I mean, they really reach out to there's us. There's just nothing positive happening right now. There is really not a whole lot, and hopefully, hopefully that changes tonight. I blame this all on Coatsy still not being on TV. <laughs> that ten o'clock start tonight, though, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the end of the game. I might just fall asleep. There, and if, Fargo's on tonight too. Speaking of which, all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you betcha. Ten o'clock. Oof. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll come back with it. Uh, we promise this time we're going to come back with another podcast soon. I mean, just it has been so ridiculous these last few days. It's been very, very busy. It's been nuts. And uh, hopefully we'll have one uh, coming up either tomorrow or uh, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. We're going to try to get one more out this week at some point. We've got a whole bunch of crap going on, and I hate it. I'm going to eat a Milky Way. All right. <laughs> Let's wrap this one up. Okay. For Andy Rob, no! I'm Ken We are the Philly Hockey Guys. Thanks for listening. See ya. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like the Philly Hockey Guys podcast page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Philly Hockey Guy. And subscribe on iTunes, TuneIn, and SoundCloud.